silver metal clay. This is a four minute video introducing silver metal clay. Here is a blob of clay. Here's a cartoon blob on silver's square on the elemental chart. Silver, whose symbol is capital A-G, is a metallic element and considered a precious metal and trading in the commodities market. Blob of clay, beautiful silver frames around gemstones. Blob of clay, jaguar, snakes, all sorts of animals, all pendants. What is this silver metal clay? There are other clays like bronze, for example, and these bronze gesture earrings, and you can actually put silver together with other metals if you know how, but from here on, I'm talking silver metal clay. How silver clay came to be. Scientists doing their work at Mitsubishi Electric, a subcompany of the automotive manufacturer, were asked to come up with a way to use silver recovered from industrial waste, especially discarded electronics. In the 90s then, metallurgist Dr. Morikawa developed a powder of microscopic silver particles. To these he added a water-soluble, non-toxic organic binder whose mystery whose mystery is still an identity, and water. Thus, this was the beginning of silver metal clay. This means, if you think about it, that Mitsubishi silver clay contains recycled and reclaimed silver, up to 40%, I've heard. How does it behave? This is what silver clay looks like when you take it out of its package and when you store the remainder of your clay. It is quite malleable, and acts somewhat like ceramic clay, only on a smaller scale. You can see it takes up texture in great detail. You can roll it, carve it, wet, carve it, dry, stamp it, and do just about anything to sculpt it. Then you dry it, sand it, fire it, either with a handheld butane torch or in a small kiln. Then you brass brush it and patina or oxidize it only if you like and finish it to the look if you desire. What do I need to work with it? You need a flat, clean, and well-lit workspace. About $50 of tools you gather from around your home and about $100 worth of small specialty tools. Down the road, if you really get into it, you could invest in a kiln for about $600 or a flexible shaft or tumbler, both for about a couple hundred. How and where do I learn more? Well, for starters, you could do a search on YouTube and pull up hundreds of tutorials and videos. Many metal clay distributors, companies who sell clay and tools, have free tutorial videos to watch also. There are in-person classes to which you can travel and online self-study courses and online live streamed courses. Instructors vary from those who have some metal clay experience to those who are certified to teach to those who are certified to teach the instructors. Another approach might be to do a search for metal clay on your favorite search site or at Pinterest. Find some pieces you truly admire and follow those links to that person's website. They might offer classes. Be inspired. Internet searches alone offer inspiration and give you ideas and show you what silver clay artisans have done with this amazing medium. One is not limited to making jewelry though. You can sculpt decorative or functional pieces such as little spoons, a tiny flower vase, a birch canister, or a pendulum, and much more. This medium is young and continues to grow in versatility, meaning that you could do something no one else has yet done. I once heard that you don't know your limits until you exceed them. I believe there are no limits with metal clay. I have not even come close to trying all of my ideas or considering the myriad of possibilities of what others could do and most certainly will do with this medium. So, release what is in this little clay storage container. The world is at your fingertips.